So good data, good quality data. Yes, you've got your recording, you transcribe <laughs> it, you're then looking at the typed up transcript. What, when you're doing that, mm. Fiona, what, what makes you think, oh, this looks like good data? Well, let's think of it with an IPA head on, um, IPA hat on, so to speak. I'm looking for juicy bits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for areas that um, go beyond description, go beyond describing the experience and are perhaps a bit evocative, a bit emotive, using um, rich language or um, it jumps out at me from when I'm reading it to say, wow, that person's grappled with that or they've got this emotional charge there around the language versus it being very kind of cut and dried. Um, but actually sometimes um, if somebody is giving you a synopsis that seems very rehearsed and very cut and dried, that can be meaningful data as well because they've packaged it up very concisely as though it's rehearsed. If they're talking about perhaps their um, experiences going to see a GP uh, to quit smoking and they're just it's very down pat versus the rest of the transcript that might be quite evocative then you've got a contrast there so mm. yeah that's right and these are psychological studies that we're doing that's right we're interested in what makes people tick and mm. how people work and their experiences so it's not just about looking for facts and information in the data that's, That's right. a bit like you know a journalist data mm. you know, uh, might be useful when it's got lots of facts in, uh, but we're interested in things that explain things psychologically, yeah. that give us an insight into processes and what lies beneath people's experiences, for yeah. example. Yeah, and me, as with IPA, we want to get to that meaning making, don't we? That's what IPA is about. It's about not only describing a lived experience, but how people make sense of it, how people make sense of living with a health condition or um, trying to change their behavior and those challenges that people face. That's what we want to get to, to uh, grips with, is some of those um, transformative pieces or those uh, challenges that people face. Anything else? Yeah. Well, that's definitely true of IPA, but. Mm. Um, true to an extent also of other forms of thematic analysis. Yeah. You know, we hope that the data will give us an insight. Yeah. And you know, perhaps one can go back to one's research question mm -hmm. or aims and objectives and think about how is my data helping me to understand something or get an insight into yeah. something. So that brings us back, doesn't it, to making sure that we're asking the right questions to get the good data. So it's a combination, isn't it, of having the right participants, good questions that are interesting and fit with the existing literature and move beyond it to offer something new and that draw people out, that draw people out so that they're going beyond just description. That's right, yes, and of course we're going to have to work with our data mm interpret it, mm -hmm. you know, as you were saying, make meaning from it, mm -hmm. and then select what illustrative parts we want to present in our report, because we're not going to show our readers all of our data, they're only going to see a few extracts. So yeah. we've got to think about representative extracts uh, that um, give a, uh, a, an interesting, meaningful insight into the data we collected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Shall we move on to the last piece? Yes, let's do okay. that. 